Brother Chad again, getting this last video, uh, this dream I had just a couple days ago. Might have even been yesterday morning. And again, this dream was so, so, when you hear it, you'll understand it was just so bizarre. Like, you know it's from the Lord when you dream something like this. It's just beyond bizarre, beyond just a dream. And uh, I didn't understand how to interpret it. And I just got a little bit of interpretation about an hour thinking about it. But maybe not fully yet if anybody wants to chime in and try to help what they think it might mean. But anyways, I talk about being targeted by the neighbors around us. And uh, we don't feel too loved by people around us. But in this dream, I was actually over at the one neighbors across the road in the dream, which I've never actually been in their house. But I was in their house in this dream. I was Tom's his name and it was so bizarre there was a lot going on it wasn't a short dream it was probably a good five ten minute dream things were said I don't remember but what I do remember is it got so bizarre I'm inside the house and all of a sudden we were ice fishing but we were ice fishing in the one room in their house like all of a sudden the floor of this room of their house was ice we we're literally ice fishing and I remember we were pulling up nice sized pickerel or I guess for a lot of people I would call them walleye. But it was just a really cool dream, really bizarre. Like I've never, I don't even know how, I don't need to say anything else how bizarre this is to be in somebody's house and all of a sudden their floor is ice and you're ice fishing inside their house, catching big walleye through the floor. <laughs> it was just such a crazy dream. You know, it's from the Lord. He's trying to say anything. So the same thing. I don't remember what's going on. These aren't people that I would say would love us. Um, even though we've we've tried to be good to all our neighbors as we're supposed to and lead them and warn them of the end times, we didn't. We haven't got a good reception from our neighbors. But anyways, the Lord finally gave me a little bit on this dream. I'm like, what what could that possibly mean? Being in somebody's house that doesn't like you. You're all of a sudden ice fishing through the floor, catching walleye through their floor. <laughs> oh, it was so crazy. And the Lord kind of gave me a little bit today. And this is what I think he was trying to tell me. So even though I'm talking about probably not being loved and they might be a little bit uh, wicked or people, we'll say, and I don't want to speak hate on anyone. We are to love our neighbor. And you know, I don't ever, I talk about a lot of targeting and horrible things I go on. You know, that never changes scripture. Not for me, not for anybody. I don't care what I've been through. Rape, attempted murder, all the stuff I've been, it doesn't matter. We have to forgive those people if we want to be forgiven. And it's very hard. I, I can understand there's others like me out there who struggle with it. But I think the point of this dream was I was in his house not understanding why because they don't like don't feel loved by these people and then all of a sudden fishing and it kind of just clued in like God was telling me you know he wants us to even still try to to save these people fishing we're supposed to be fishermen of men right I mice fishing in his house it was almost like maybe he was telling me to to try to save them again or to try to lead them to warn them of the end or something along that lines. That's kind of what I got in the spirit about an hour ago. I finally got a little bit of revelation on it. Um, I don't know what else it could have meant. Fishing inside their house, ice fishing through their floor. It was really bizarre, but I guess the Lord could be saying, right? Like, even though they might feel like your enemy, we're still supposed to be trying to lead them to Christ. Fishermen of men were fishing. I was fishing with them. So I, I'm going to leave it at that. If you guys think anything else, you might think towards it. I'd love to hear it. Share it in the comments. Um, I speak right now that everybody watching, or everybody in the body of Christ, has the strength to stay strong to the end so we can hold on that the tops of our lamps stay open to be filled with the oil, that we seek the Lord. And this is for me too, because I don't read enough. You guys know my struggle with my eyes. I don't read enough. 
I see tons of scripture every day on YouTube, which is awesome. It's still receiving the word. But don't lose hope ever. Stay strong in the Lord. Those who hold on to the end will be saved. That doesn't mean the end of the tribulation. I've already said this before. When the rapture happens, like that's already, we're already in the end in God's timing. So don't always seek the spirit on the scriptures. <laughs> don't just listen to one person on how they, even if it's a group of people telling you something's a certain way and you're not getting that in the spirit, seek the Lord on it. Not men, not me, not anybody else. Anyways, love you guys. Take care.